infiltrated it so welcome to the show, everyone. As all of you know, I made it possible for everybody to talk about themselves. Who doesn't like to talk about themselves, especially on the radio? So if you want to get yourself heard on the show, just give us a call here at the station at 602-277-5369 and get it connected with me, and we'll get you heard on Networking Arizona. And today, we have all newbies. We have one replay, but all newbies practically. So I'm really excited about that. And um, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to open up right now with my first guest who's never been on my uh, show before. I have with me Anita Patton. She's the Executive Director of uh, Adoption Choices of Arizona. Welcome to the show. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself and what you all do. Okay, thank you for having me. Um, I'm Anita. I um, have been in foster care and adoption field for over 30 years now. So foster care and adoption is very important to me. Um, at this point in time, uh, adoption is just the joy in my life. When you do the creation of families and can put them together and for especially with parents that have infertility issues or whatever and then with our birth moms who just don't have the means to raise a child and when you can create those families together it is like the most joyous job at the ending of my career here as I go on. Oh sure well I gotta say I'm sure it is and there's a lot of parents out there that are dealing with infertility issues seems like more than ever I don't know why and it's always the parent uh, that there's there's some that could just bang them out right and then there's just some that just have a lot of trouble. Yes. Um, the ones that do, what is the process that they have to go through in order to, you know, even, uh, you know, be accepted as to, to be is, able to adopt? It, it is a process. They have to have a legal home study in the state of Arizona. And that process itself is very intrusive um, in a lot of regards and fairly expensive in putting it together. So it's a combination of being interviewed by social workers uh, coming into your home, finding out why you want to do adoption you know what is it there are you going to become a good parent uh what is your we go into your background we ask you questions about your childhood traumas we talk about the infertility and where you're at in all of this the losses that you've had in your life so it's 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 a long process for them it could be a short process so somebody that's really on it and this is what i want to do and let's get it done it can be very quickly to get a home study done and and get certified to be ready for an adoption Option. So once that happens and all your fingerprints have gone through and, and you've done the, the home study and the social worker's been there and talked about it and everything's written up, then the next step for them to do is to put their profile out there. Uh, we're getting ready to roll out a family marketing plan, which is really exciting. Um, it is a, a web-based system now. It used to be, and it still is, where adoptive families will do a profile book, and it's kind of a picture book, and it talks about their family, and the adoptive family families are always so cute because the, she's there in her wedding dress and there's always a picture of them standing on a mountaintop in the Eiffel Tower in the background and they're holding in various relative children at Disneyland. But now we're more going into more of a format where our birth moms can see them in true action of what their lives are. So it's more of a narrative and they're videotaping That's very themselves. cool. Yes. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be videos online now where moms can go through and just kind of sort and get more of a feel of what the family is rather than the stage pictures of standing in front of the Eiffel Tower. Um which all the families seem to do. So they get a better idea because it's always been our focus of, I need to know what you are as a family. You know, I'm a child. I want to be on your floor looking up and trying to figure out what it's like living in this neighborhood, in this family, not not what it looks sure. like in, in some of your travels. I also so. want to make it very clear, too, because we were talking about parents that have had infertility uh, problems. There are people out there that want to adopt because they're they're in different sort of uh, family, mm -hmm. right? Yes. There's maybe they just never uh, that they just that's what they wanted to do was adopt. Yes, correct. Yes. And there is that I, motivation. I just want, yes, right. I wanted well. to make that clear. Yes. Or they've had four boys and they really want a girl and they really want a girl. Wow. 
So, yes, we will get those calls as well, too. That if we're just not taking any more chances of another boy. Now, you're rated with the Better Business Bureau. Your website is Adoption Choices of Arizona. It's all spelled out dot org. Their phone number to call is 602-505-4190. Um, this is not, let's say it's something that you may not be interested, but you know somebody. That's what I love about networking, and that's what mm-hmm. this show is all about. Uh, it may be someone that's listening, and it may be someone that they know. That's why I like to talk about it and remind people of that. So if it's not you or you know someone that might be interested, uh, tell them about it. It's Adoption Choices of Arizona, all spelled out, Arizona.org. And then phone number is 602-505-4190. Okay, so... And we're a full service agency, so we don't just work with the adoptive families and doing home studies and things like that. We take it all the way through. We also work with birth mothers. So the the same thing, you may know somebody that is currently pregnant that is dealing with an, um, just not the right time for the pregnancy for whatever reason. So we work with the birth moms as well. So we work with the adoptive families. We work with the birth moms. We put them all together, and we go. we hold everybody's hands through the end, through finalization. And and anybody that can go on my Facebook can tell I've maintained some long-term relationships with both families and adopted uh, birth moms and the children. So what would you say would make, um, you know, Adoption Choices of Arizona different than the other adoption places out there? There are others. So Mm -hmm. what makes you different? We... um, we care about the birth moms. That's our primary focus. Um, it's really wonderful to have a baby at the end, and that is the goal is to get you a child as an adoptive family. But we're really mostly concerned with the birth moms. They come to us in not such good situations, a lot of unfortunate situations, and it's our goal to try to leave them in a better spot than what they are when they come. And and most of our moms, they do know that we absolutely, totally care for them, and we're here for them. Um, on the adoptive parent side, what makes us a little bit different? Is there's no unf- upfront fees with us. Um, it is um, we have a very minimal application charge fee, five hundred ninety-five dollars. That's what it costs to become an adoptive parent with our agency to sign on with us. Mm-hmm. There's no other cost associated with that. So um, not until they're matched with a birth mom. Um, so there's 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 no money at risk until they are physically matched with their mom. Mm-hmm. So well, they're rated with the A plus rated with the Better Business Bureau. Uh, they are. When you talk about your birth mothers, uh, can you do you get them from all over? How does that happen? Yeah, uh, mainly we work with Arizona birth moms, but occasionally we'll get some out of state girls for a variety of reasons that either want to come here to Arizona to deliver, or um, we'll work with them in their home state if we can match them with an Arizona family. But most of our birth moms, um, they're in not so great circumstances. That we about a third of our moms um, are clean. About two thirds of our moms are using some kind of substances. Um, meth is the big one right now. We have some that are heroin, but you have to do your research, uh, find out that it is not a life sentence for the child. It is really it's okay. The kids are growing up fine because it's the family environment that's important at this period of time, and the love. I can't even begin to tell you. People don't really believe sometimes when you say love really makes things different. They it really does. I've seen it too many times. It's the environment. Yes, absolutely. Right. Now, again, uh, maybe it's you, maybe it's someone that you know, maybe you know someone that is is in this situation. They are always looking for birth uh, moms as well. They want to help them, right? Yes, absolutely. And, of course, if you are looking to adopt, that's your choice. You'll be able to do your homework, and you'll be able to make that decision of what type of child is right for you. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, so they are rated with a Better Business Bureau. Their website is... Adoption Choices of Arizona. It's all spelled out. dot org, and the phone number to call them is six zero two five zero five four one nine zero. We only have less than a minute, so I just want to ask you: for anyone that is possibly wanting to adopt, what's the turnaround time? How long does it really take to actually get that baby in your hand? Arizona, we have we we do not have enough Arizona adoptive families. It's less than a year that you'll have a baby. Wow, that's awesome. Well, if you're in the situation or if you know someone. People, if you know anybody out there that is a a birth mom right now that might like to be, you know, they're in a tough spot, do you consultations?
sessions with them, obviously. Yes. yes. Again, you immediately. Can, they do consultations and they want to help them. That is their focus. Uh, they also uh, don't have any upfront fees for anyone that's looking to adopt. The number to call them is 602 505 4190. It's Adoption Choices of Arizona. It's all spelled out.org.